so excited to meet you in person. So, um, so tell the audience a little bit about yourself and your brand. Uh, so, Jamie Kern Lima, uh, founder of It Cosmetics and New York Times bestselling author of the book Believe It. And I actually just announced this week, just announced my very next book called Worthy, which is all about how to build unshakable self worth. So, very honored to be here tonight at LA Style Awards and get the Disruptor Award. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a fun night. It's very exciting, and I think it's such a great award show. Yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's, you know, a big group of um, visionaries. I think Trisha is a beautiful soul, Trisha Love, and I'm just, yeah, honored to be here and support her and share time with you. Share time with you. Be here with everyone. Yeah, my good friend Leah Key right there. It's going to be a, a most influential 2024, so she's here, which is great. Yeah, it's a big party tonight, so... You have a couple friends here. That's so wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So um, where can people find you on social media? At Jamie Kern Lima on Instagram, or they can check out my new book at worthybook.com. Uh, because honestly, I think in life we don't get what we want. We get what we believe we're worthy of. And so it is a book all about how do you build unshakable self-worth. So I'm very excited about it. I love that. I, yeah, it's interesting. I think that's that's true somehow, right? That's yeah. When I was a Denny's waitress, I could have never imagined like building a billion dollar company, you know. And I love being a waitress, but I had these big dreams in my heart. But I almost doubted myself out of my own destiny. And so, learning to believe that I was worthy is really what changed everything for me. So, yeah. What 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 style means for you? How do you? How is it embossed into your life? Uh, well, Devon actually takes care of all my style. <laughs> I had none before. I told and, him he's lucky because, yeah. you know, I look at his brows, you know, I look at his hair, yeah. <laughs> like the way he dressed, yeah. like so, even the way he eats, like this is this is what you see. It's like my work, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that she's my biggest style and in, in, inspiration there is, period. No. What was it before? I mean, you still have to do it somehow. Well, here's the thing. We dated eight years ago, and she improved my style then, and I kind of just kept everything for eight years. <laughs> so I still do have some of the stuff. No. And then now she's back in my life again, and she kind of just does my style all over again. It's so crazy. I have to tell, I have to, I never tell you this, but, you know, actually Kevin has such great style in the past. Like, he has, like, both of us, we uh, were skaters, so... We were having like that street, you know, skater vibe about us. I was like kind of a tomboy, and he just has like, I mean, maybe it's his body that was good, but like he looks good in anything. <laughs> so style generally, is it means that following fashion or to be very unique? To me, I think it's following your own expression. So my my expression is more simplistic. It's not about being too out there and stuff like that. So yeah. I would say a little bit of both. I love to see what's trending and like how I can incorporate into my own style. Like obviously, like I wouldn't recommend trying something so so out there if it doesn't align with like your personality. I'm all about like really honing into like this one specific look that you want to represent yourself. So mine is more like timeless, classic, a little bit of, um, like a little edgy, you know? So I think that's more fun. But yeah, just to find what, you can incorporate in and you don't have to spend a ton of money either you know it's like what do you think uh, if we extending the itself the style is it also the part of the to be stylish that don't drink alcohol oh well <laughs> not drinking alcohol is not in style but i'm trying to make it in style oh wait yeah. what was the question <laughs> yeah so so what uh, is it part of uh, to be stylish if you don't drink alcohol Oh, yeah, I definitely, I have to counter that from Kevin because I feel like that is on, um, you know, up and coming. Like when people are like into not having hangovers, especially here, like, I mean, we came from New York and it's all about like party, party, party. But like now it's kind of like, yeah, you want to be healthy, you want to um, have more energy, you know. So, yeah, I think I think you're onto something, yeah, definitely, Kevin. Definitely. <laughs> more things to comment on. So you are in the reality show, The Bring Empire, and uh, unfortunately the cast just lost a member. So uh, could you just comment us your feelings about it? Yeah, no, I'm glad you mentioned that. You're probably the first person to mention it. She was a close friend and, and uh, castmate. And so to actually see somebody like that who has everything, and they, they can't take anything in the afterlife, it was a big, it hit me pretty hard. So she'll always be remembered. 
So the other thing is that I saw your Instagram video this morning, and it was about to having sex without alcohol. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Like sex without yeah. alcohol was. Oh no, it's great now. But I'm just saying, in the beginning, when you're a young teenager or like a college person, it's a little weird, right? We never had. We only have. We've always had sober sex. Yeah. Actually, we never. Not. Our first time was so special to yeah. us. We want to be like. We wanted rose petals. We wanted to be there. We're talking about like eight years ago now. You know. <laughs> so I was like, I want to remember everything. Yep. <laughs> and Devon, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, I'm a producer. I'm an author, a preacher. You know, and just uh, grateful to be here and excited for the evening. And I heard you're in a movie, correct? Yes, I, uh, I'm a producer and I'm also an actor, you know, so I produced a film called Flame and Hot that's on Disney Plus and Hulu, and then I acted in a film that just came out this year called The Jesus Revolution. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, um, so tell me, I know Flame and Hot is Flame and Hot right now, and that's that great story, so yeah. tell us a little bit about that first. Yeah, that movie is amazing. It's on Disney Plus and Hulu. It's a true story of Richard Montañez, who was the driving force behind the success of Flaming Hot Cheetos. He started as a janitor working for Frito-Lay and worked his way all the way to be one of the top executives in the company and in the process launched a billion dollar brand. And Eva Longoria directed the film and uh, it's amazing. It is just powerful. What a great story and tell us about your other movie. Yeah, Jesus Revolution is a film that I was in. It's on home video now. Uh, I play this uh, reporter, his name is Josiah, working for Time Magazine. And I'm covering the story of all these hippies that are getting off acid and finding Jesus. So. That's a powerful film, you know, from a box office standpoint, it's the top grossing inspirational film of the year, which is amazing to be a part of that. My good friends, the Irwin Brothers, produced and directed and wrote it, and I'm just blessed to be in it. That's wonderful. Well, have fun tonight. You look stylish. Oh, thank you. You know. You're totally great. <laughs> and it's such an honor to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Honor to meet you, too. Billy Montilla, I'm co-hosting the event tonight. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, so um, are you excited to be co-hosting? I'm very excited for many reasons. First, yes, I'm hosting the event tonight, which is phenomenal. It's the first LA Style Awards show, so we're very excited about it. But also because I'm being featured on the magazine, I own a fashion brand called Carla & Co. And because of what we do for the Latin market, um, we've been featured in this very influential magazine. So we're very excited about it. Oh, yeah, tell us a little bit about your, your products. So it's called Carla & Co, Carla with a K, and we're a Latina fashion-owned brand. We're known for our t-shirts. So we have mostly t-shirts with really funny slogans like rolling my eyes in Spanish or ignoring you in Spanish. I'm trilingual, I speak English, Spanish, and Spanglish. So we cater to the U.S. Hispanic market, and we're very well known within that audience. And it's just fun to have a, a brand, you know, and to be able to express ourselves through fashion. And I think that's what we're here for tonight you know, celebrating fashion and style. Wonderful. Well, it's such an honor to meet you. And where can we find you on social media? You can find me at Pili, P-I-L-I, Montilla, M-O-N-T-I-L-L-A. So, Lisa, so excited to interview you at this great event, LA Style Awards. How are you feeling today? Ah, oh, super excited. Honored to be here. Yeah. So tell the audience a little bit about what you do. Oh, so my background is I was actually a stay-at-home wife supporting my husband for eight years, and then we decided to start a protein bar company, and that protein bar company uh, turned into Quest Nutrition that went from uh, zero to a billion dollars in five years, and we announced the second fastest growing company in North America. Um, and then we left that to start our own company to really impact people's minds, because once you've impacted the body, you realize that actually true transformation cannot begin until you actually believe that it's possible. And so uh, for us, we actually turned into building a studio and this is what we do on a day to day. I know it's so wonderful. And where can uh, people find you? Um, so I have a show called Women of Impact that inspires and impacts women. Um, and then my company, Impact Theory. And you look so beautiful. Tell us a little bit about your style today. Thank you. Yeah, my style is a reflection of me, build, me building my confidence over the years. So I never would have stood out. I would have worn all black. I wouldn't have worn jewelry because I wanted to go under the radar because I didn't have the confidence and I was completely insecure. And it wasn't until I actually leveraged fashion in order to help build my confidence that allowed me to be the person that you see today. So like this watch and this is like my Wonder Woman cuffs. Just like Wonder Woman suits up for the day to be a freaking badass, I suit up every day with my Wonder Woman necklace 
and my cuffs to really give me that emotional thing that I need to feel to be strong every single day. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. So have a wonderful time and thank you so much. Thank you, my homie. Thank you. Good to see you again. Oh, you too. How are you doing? Good, good. It was a while. I don't know if it was your last movie, but you shot in, um, in uh, Malta. In Malta. Oh, Malta. Yes, yeah, so that was the last time I met you when uh, okay. it was the premiere of the movie. Oh, the right. Yeah. 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 So, first of all, what happened since that? Please update us. Well, I was um, I spent like three months in South Africa last year doing a show called Revelation Road, and um, and then uh, and we we're about to to start shooting on our fifth installment of the God's Not Dead franchise. So, yeah, we start in like two weeks. Wow. Can you share a little bit more about the project? Well, we kind of, um, you know, we're, we're in the middle of a, uh, there's a lot going on in our country, um, and so, and it's political season. So it's a political movie in the midst of, uh, it comes out like next year, so right in the middle, in the heart of it. So it'll be interesting. That sounds interesting. Uh, so we are in an event tonight. What is about style? What style means for you? How is it in your daily life? Yeah. I mean, style kind of just is, is an extension of your own, you know, uh, it's, it allows, it, when, you know, clothes, they're just, a, it's like one more extension of, of yourself, you know, and how you kind of feel and the things that you don't feel comfortable with, you try to avoid those styles and then the, the things that you do, you try to embrace those and make them interesting. I think it's, uh, for men, it's maybe a little bit more like control, uh, not, not even controlled, but... It's more difficult to be stylish because for women we are just pull on a dress and it's it's totally different. So what do you think about that? Guys are a lot prettier than us too. So. <laughs> so it's more difficult to be stylish all the time, or are you, is it your goal to be stylish all the time? I mean, I don't really. Um, I think uh, you know, men as a whole are, are a little more simple, and so uh, we don't put a lot of thought into it on a daily basis. Um, not all, obviously. There's a lot of men that maybe do. I don't know. I don't. And because uh, I got a lot of other things going on, uh, but you know, but uh, you know, we, we try. We're trying. <laughs> so, as a director, you have to actually think of style. Like, um, for example, Wes Anderson has a very strict style. How can you describe your style as a director? Uh, um, you mean for as a? Did you say as a director? Yes. My st uh, style for. Movies. I mean, yeah. So, like, well, I mean, we've you know we've been doing um, the faith-based arena uh, for that for years because it, we always felt like um, it was a niche that was underserved that needed to be filled, and uh, and so that kind of propelled us into it. Obviously, it's a message that we we connect with and agree with and and believe in. Um, uh, but you know, you you. I mean, I'm a fan of comedy, dramas, you know, thrillers, like almost almost all genres of movies. I'm a fan of, so not all of them, but uh, but but a lot of them I am. So I think each, we try to bring pieces of those into what we're doing. So you guys are looking so great tonight. So um, how are you feeling? Feeling good, excited. Um, looking forward to the award, my Latina Powerhouse Award. <laughs> so it's it's nice. Well, and it is so important, and I think um, so much has happened with the Latin community the past few years, don't you think? Uh, very much. You know, we are fighting really hard to be able to be recognized and, you know, for inclusion. Uh, we're a huge demographic in this country, and we are very much under, the underserved. So we are fighting with all we have to be able to move forward, and there's some changes happening. We're excited about that, you know, and there's some uh, very few TV shows with Latino presence, but we're, we're getting there. And I love that obviously Fantasy Island, it was wonderful because you know you were you were the lead for that. I think that was so important. A woman, a Latina. Yeah. It's a it's a shame, you know, that it's not coming back for more seasons. We did two and they were fantastic. Um, a little shocking <laughs> that they decided not to, to bring bring it back, but it was an, an unbelievable experience for me and a big responsibility, yes, as a as a Puerto Rican, as a Latino woman, to be able to be the number one on the call sheet, to be able to do something uh, that represents our culture. It was it was an incredible incredible privilege. Well, you did amazing, and there's there's going to be more. You just opened the door for more. Hey, I hope so. <laughs> so, um, tell us your social media. Uh, it is what is my social media? Rosaline underscore Sanchez for Instagram and Twitter and and I think that's it. TikTok is I think it's Rosaline Sanchez official and Facebook is Rosaline Sanchez. <laughs> 
Um, Instagram, EB Winter, and Eric Winter One on Twitter. Yeah, you have two different ones, yeah. Have fun tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. So tell us, you're here at the LA Style Awards tonight. How are you feeling? LA Style. I'm just happy to be here. You know, when an East Coaster comes West, I'm sorry, when an East Coaster comes West, got to be something good going on. <laughs> well, and love your outfit. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. It's... So tell us what projects you have going on right now. Right now, I'm actually doing a national rites of passage process for women. Nine weeks online, four days in person, to support women really in stepping into a better expression of who we are as women, because so many of us are men in skirts. We do everything the way the men taught us, the way the men trained us, the way the men like it, that we don't even understand how to be in our being and our power as women. And so many of us missed our rights as girls, and we became women educated in a masculine system, conditioned by a masculine society. So I'm taking 1,500 women through a rites of passage process. Very, very powerful. Yeah, I think it's very interesting, especially right now, what's going on. I think there's some undertones going on in, with women's rights and just being seen as people, right, with our own. And so I think it's very, very important. Um, and also, um, so do you still see Oprah a little bit here and there? Absolutely. You know, we are, I think, I thank Oprah Winfrey for providing me with a platform to bring a new energy to reality TV. It wasn't just, it was real. Real people, real lives, real stories done without prostituting their pain. And I think that I will always thank her for that. So we don't go shopping, but we're close. <laughs> well, that's that's absolutely. And where can we find you on social? Yamla.com. I only one way, only one person with my name. <laughs> I know. Very unique. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, so, you so much. much. Thank you for being here. So tell us, you're here at the LA Style Awards. How are you feeling? You're looking beautiful. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, I absolutely love my dress. I'm normally, I'm trying to not be, to not be in black anymore, but I couldn't help it. I fell in love with the dress when I saw it. You know, it's from Grace She Christalini. tried on about 10 dresses and she came back to the black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, you know, it's an incredible uh, brand. It's uh, Cristalini, the designer. So I'm super happy and grateful that they gave me this beautiful dress for tonight. It's very special for me. and. I match with my husband, so... <laughs> I match with you. I always, I always try and match with her, so... <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, tell us, look at you, you're styling tonight. Well, you know, doing a little Hollywood glam thing, you know how it is. Yeah, well, you're looking great. And so, tell us, um, obviously you have news to share that you've been sharing, so um, tell us what are next steps possibly in your life. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be running for lieutenant governor uh, in 2026. I know it's early, but this is my calling. I've been doing this for 27 years. I've uh, been elected um, four times now statewide. This last one is state treasurer. I've uh, been on the ballot 20 times. I've never lost. And so this is my calling. This is my passion. And as long as the people keep electing me, I will keep serving. We love that. And where can we find you on social media and more information? Uh, FionaMaw.com is my website. I am on Twitter at FionaMaw. I'm on Instagram and Facebook if you want to follow me and my dogs or my husband and my family. Um, so, And then also on LinkedIn. And then do you also share on your website what you know some of the things you believe in and you'd like to see happen? Oh, absolutely. Um, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and LinkedIn, I post pretty much every day. Like today, I visited a food rescue organization in the Bay Area where they actually work with grocery stores, uh, big chains like Starbucks, and take the food that isn't sellable and bring it and repackage and then 
uh, donate it to their 90 nonprofits so that their seniors or uh, foster youth or underserved people that really need that nutritional food but cannot afford it uh, have access to it. So, you know, I posted that today because I think it's great. They're keeping food and clothing out of the landfill, yet feeding people who really need it. Um, so that's like one of the things. And then I got inducted to the Oakland Rotary 3 Club today. And so I posted all about being a Rotary member now that they have a virtual component to it. So always doing things, just participating in the community and sharing what good things people are doing. Great. Thank you so much. Have fun. Thank you. Hi, Iskra. Nice to meet you. Uh, you just brought some such a fresh air on the red carpet with your beauty and you are a model So the style is a part of your life. What does it mean for you in daily life? Yes, yeah, style is very important It's how we identify ourselves and for me as a mom as a business owner and a model It's really important that I remember who I am and every day I get the opportunity to express that through what I wear in the fashion business is such a big pressure on women so you are such an amazing woman to deal with all of this. Um, have you ever got anything uh, like, you know, that they wanted to change you or something? Oh, of course. Um, I think that we've known for a very long time that the fashion industry can be quite toxic when it comes to body image. But for many years, I believed there was something wrong with my body and wanted to change it when I actually realized that the industry needed to change. So I dedicated the last 20 years of my career to trying to show that all body types are worthy, no matter what size and shape. And, you know, I stand here today as the owner of Saltaire, a brand that really helps people feel included and creates products to embrace everyday moments and make us feel good so it's been a really wonderful journey to get here you mentioned that you are a mom and you mentioned also that uh, uh, the fashion businesses can be so toxic so how a mom how old is your daughter or son my son is three okay. yeah. so as a mom what is your concept about that how to protect him uh, from the fashion business and from all of this uh, pressure and uh, what is the time when you think that he has to be stylish <laughs> Right, so I think that hopefully we can raise children that know that they're enough, no matter who they are and what they have and what they look like. So for my son, I want him to build his sense of self-worth of who he is and what he brings to the world. Um, and so that he'll never think that his appearance is the only thing that's valuable. And I encourage him to embrace his style. He always chooses what he wears and I'll take him shopping and he can pick out what he likes because again, it's an expression of self. Right now he's a big Paw Patrol fan, so he just wants to wear like Paw Patrol merch. And that's okay, I maybe would like him to wear a static beige clothing and he's not into that. So I let him style himself. What is your uh, idea about this uh, even event tonight? What is your expectation? You know what, I've come in here with no expectations except for knowing there are wonderful people here that I'm excited to connect with. Um, and just to always be listening and learning and absorbing. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to meet everyone that's here tonight. What is the next project, what upcoming project in your life? Yes, definitely lots of projects. Um, I continue to build Saltaire into a body care brand that everyone loves and adores. And so we have new products dropping all the time. We have a big launch just now with Body Mists, um, which is really fun because Body Mists was the first way I experienced fragrance. And fragrance is a huge part of your style as well. So yeah, but bringing out the body mist was a huge win for me. Um, and then I'm also just working on modeling more. I have a big campaign coming out with Macy's. Um, so there's just lots of fun things happening. So you really brought a fresh air to the red carpet tonight because of the body mist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing all of this. And um, in the end, please share your social media with us. Yes, so I'm Iskra at literally I-S-K-R-A, my name. Um, and I'm Iskra on Instagram. TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, I'm Iskra A. Lawrence. But yeah, you can find me all over the internet. Nice, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'm Leah Valencia Key, creator of Valencia Key Jewelry. And uh, yeah, so tell us a little bit about your jewelry. Uh, Valencia Key Jewelry is, Valencia is brave and key is to unlock. It's all about unlocking your light and joy and all things are possible when you wear it. Oh, I love that. And uh, where can, and are you, um, What's your, tonight, what are you doing here tonight specifically? I'm one of the most influential um, in 2024. I'm so excited and honored to be here. Just, it's so impactful when you can inspire people to truly live a life of light and to be love in the world. That is wonderful. Love your outfit, yellow. 
You look gorgeous. Thank you. And where can people find you on social media? Oh, you can find me at Valencia Key Design or Leah Valencia Key. It's an honor because I work with women in Africa and they um, give them opportunity and education. They hand bead the bags. So it's really a mission of love when you carry fashion and style. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.